Well, let us talk about class Reptilia. Very interesting. Jurassic fantasy. I personally have this. Okay. So, have you seen the movie Jurassic Park? One of my favorite movies. I think I've watched so many times. Well, the Jurassic, the dinosaurs, they are reptiles. Yes. So, the rise and the fall of the dinosaurs. Fine. I don't know if they're going to rise again. Basically, these were reptiles. If I talk about the dinosaurs, they were reptiles. And I'm talking about the Mesozoic era. Initially, remember, I told, I told you that the amphibians, they ruled the earth. The initial time period was ruled by the amphibians. Then came the time for the reptiles to rule the earth. And that's, I'm talking about the Triassic period of the Mesozoic era. So it was also known as the age of the reptiles. So the dinosaurs were there at this point of time. These were reptiles. They, they preyed on the fishes and often on each other also. But what happened near about, I think, 60 to 65 million years ago, Earth faced a massive destruction. Massive extinction event happened on Earth. And during that period of time, all these creatures, these dinosaurs, they got extinct. They're no more. Fine. Okay. So, I don't know. At times, I told you that I have these Jurassic fantasy. And at times, I think it would have been so cool that if I would have got the opportunity to see these creatures alive. But I don't know. It could have been dangerous for us also. Let's see. Let's see what evolution takes us towards. Fine. So that was a violent ending for the reptiles, the dinosaurs and talking about the reptiles, you know, we human beings initially, initially we were very, very scared of these reptiles specifically because of the snakes. Slowly and steadily, these reptiles became a part of our human culture and faith. There was a time when people started worshipping these creatures because they were harmful. They could cause death to the people. So they started fearing. Fine. But you know, we have adapted so much that we came up with a game. And this is one of my favorite games. Right? Have you played this? Yeah? Snake and Ladder? Well, till now, I've grown up. but I like this game. If you haven't played it, please play with your friends, your family. It's very interesting game. Okay? It's fun. Let me talk about some of the poisonous snakes that is found in India, King Cobra, Crate and the Viper. So these are some of the poisonous snakes that are found in India. So the scientific names, King Cobra, Cobra known as Naja, Crate known as Bangaris and Viper is the Vipera. Fine. Well, if I talk about the name Reptilia, the Reptilia came from the Latin words, let me write it, Ripper or reptum you know it means this these latin words it means creep or crawl and that's the way these organisms move these organisms they creep and crawl they do not have limbs snakes do not have limbs by the way snakes do not have limbs these are the exceptions in the classification of the tetrapods fine now, can anyone of you tell me, what is this snake trying to do? Why is it constantly like putting out its tongue and then again putting it inside? It may appear threatening, but very interestingly, I should tell that it flickers out its tongue and then takes it inside. It's simply nothing, but it's trying to get a better sense of its surrounding by tasting the air. Yes, it's just trying to sense the surrounding. The snakes, you know, dart the tongue into the, jab, uh, it's called the Jacobson's organ, which is located inside the upper roof of the mouth in the snakes. Fine. So this is a very interesting creature. So let me talk about the class Reptilia. Habitat is aquatic. The sea turtle. Okay, they are aquatic. Chillon is a scientific name. They can be terrestrial also. See the 
chameleon, the tree lizard, the hemidactylus, the wall lizard. So these are all reptiles. Fine? Fine. Even some can survive in both the land and water. A simple example is the crocodile. Okay. This is a very important characteristic feature. Poikilotherms, they are cold blooded. They have seen the same thing in case of amphibians also. Temperature dependent on the environment, they bask in the sun. So they, you'll see these crocodiles, they do nothing. They keep silent and just lay down under the sun. Why? It's basically called the basking in the sun. They try to increase their body temperature. And when it increases a lot, then they move towards the shade because they have to cool it down again. Retreat to the shade. Now, they have, the skin have scales. See here? Not only scales, but also they have the scutes. Now, can anyone of you tell me, just look at this image over here and can you tell me what are these scutes? Example, think about the crocodile and tell me what is what are actually scutes? See the structure properly, carefully. You do not have to learn everything in biology. You can be very logical, just observe and you can be very logical. Scutes are basically what I find. It seems bony. I might, I'm talking about the crocodiles. It seems bony. It's, uh, yeah, of course, it's external plate. You know, these are the scales which are overlaid at times with horns. You see some pointed structures. At times it is overlaid with the horns. As you will find on the shells of the turtle, you can find the, on the skins of the crocodiles. These are basically the scutes. Fine. You understand the difference that normal scales and at times these scales can be modified. It can become very tough. It can have some horn like structures outside. Not only this, at times some organisms have cornified skin. That means, take a look, there are proper horns over there. Fine? The horny skins you'll find in these organisms. Another interesting characteristics of the reptiles is that at times, or rather periodically, they can shed off their skin. The snakes and the lizards, they can shed off their skin periodically. Well, this is very interesting. Can you tell me what's happening? I'm telling you, eyes are present in the snakes, external ears absent. Now there's a there's a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding why? You see the man blowing this organ. This is an instrument, you know. This is an instrument. He's playing that instrument, and the and the snake is swaying. Based on is it sound? Is the snake swaying based on the sound? No, that is the misunderstanding. We don't understand this one. And if often people tell that the snake is dancing with the music. No, because external ear is absent, inner ear is inner ear tympanum of the eardrum is just present over there. So as opposed to the popular belief that the snakes cannot. They cannot hear the music. In fact, what you are seeing over here, it's just that the snake is swaying based on the motion of the flute. In fact, even if you don't use a flute and use your hand and sway it in front of the snake, it will, it will sway according to the movement of your hand. Fine? So, spread this word. Now, yes, limbs, it's absent in snakes, but present in others, for example, the lizards, if you talk about, they have two pairs of limbs. Tetrapods, simple. Cassius exchange occurs with the help of the lungs. They have proper lungs. You can see the nostrils, the trachea, esophagus over here, cloaca, lung. Yes, it's present over here. Can you see it? Okay. So the nostrils and here the lungs. So gaseous exchange occurs with the help of the lungs. Beautiful. Now, closed circulatory system. Like us, three chambered heart, two auricles and one ventricle. Closed circulatory system except crocodiles which have four chambered heart. Questions can be asked based on this. Crocodile is an exception, they have four chambered heart. Others have three chambered heart. 